Hi everyone, this is the power focus area of linear and exponential functions, and this is objective two. So today we're gonna to look at how we can graph an equation that is in slope-intercept form. So if you remember, slope-intercept form looks something like this, y equals mx plus b. The m represents the slope, and the b represents the y-intercept, hence the name slope-intercept form. So from this equation right here, y equals 3x minus six, we're trying to figure out what is your slope. Well, your slope is where the m would be, or three. It also can be written as three over one, if you want to write it as a fraction. And then your y-intercept, which is the b in the equation, is negative six. Keep that sign with the six, so it's negative six. So now we need to graph this equation, and we can do that because we have a y-intercept and a slope. So how we're gonna graph it, is we're gonna start with our y-intercept, which is negative six, so on my y-axis, I'm gonna go down to negative six. And now I can graph points by using my slope, which is three, or we wrote it as a fraction because we remember slope is rise over run, so we're rising three and we're running one. So from my starting value of negative six, I'm gonna go up three, one, two, three, over one, is our next point, then I'm gonna go up three, one, two, three, over one. So our third point, we'll do one more. One, two, three, over one. And now we have enough points to make a line. So we just graphed this line from this equation. Now I'm gonna show you, what if we were given an equation that was in standard form? So standard form, if you remember, um, is ax plus by equals c. So here's our equation in standard form. And we want to graph this. What a graph it, we have to turn it into slope-intercept form. So what I just showed you. So I'm going to show you how to turn it into slope-intercept form. So here's our standard form, negative 2x plus 3y equals 12. We want to turn it into slope-intercept to get the y by itself. So how we start to do that, we have to get rid of this negative 2x to start. So how we get rid of negative 2x on one side is by adding 2x. But if you remember, what we do to one side of an equation, we have to do to the other side. So I'm gonna add 2x on this side. So what we're left with, these can cancel out. We're left with 3y. Our equal sign is still there. And then we cannot add 12 and 2x because the 12 does not have an x with it. So we're left with, I always put the x out front, so we're left with 2x plus 12. Now we still don't have y by itself, we still have to get y by itself, and to do that, we have to divide by three. And remember, what we do to one side has to do the other side, so I'm gonna divide everything on this side by three as well. And so this cancels out, and I'm left with y, my equal sign. I'm left with two divided by three, that x is still there, and then 12 divided by three, put that in your calculator, you're gonna get four. Now we have an equation that is in slope-intercept form. We have a y equals mx plus b. So let's graph that. So we have our equation we found was y equals two-thirds x plus four. And just like our last problem, we have a slope which is Sorry, if I write this, y equals mx plus b. Our m is two-thirds, our slope is two-thirds, and then our b, or our y-intercept, is four. Now we can graph it. So we start with our y-intercept of four, so on my y-axis, I'm gonna find four, right here. And now I have a slope of two over three, which is my rise over run, remember? So I'm gonna go, Rising up two, and I'm gonna run three. One, two, three, there's my next point. I'm gonna rise two, and then I'm going to run three. Do it one more time, up two, over three, and we have enough points to make a line. So we went from a standard form over here, turn it to y-intercept form, and then we could make a graph out of it with an intercept and a slope. All right, good luck.